We're building a rock run down to stop a shallow head cut that's working its way up valley here. And this would be the top edge, even with where the uh, the top of the, the head cut. So we're using smaller rocks to match the natural ground line so we can uh, increase the growth and vigor of the grasses at this point right here. Okay, and then we'll keep working down with bigger rocks as we go downstream, just as she's doing. Okay, so these just place two foot of rocks at the downstream edge right there. Okay, so where she's working over there is where the slope changes and the head cut begins. Okay, so we're armoring the, the top of the head cut so it's now mulched with rock and vegetation can grow there and stop further up, uphill progression of the head cut. So it's pretty flat back there where he's standing and then it gets fairly steep where she's working there. So that's where the active erosion takes place. So that's what we're trying to armor with the rock rundown. Okay, so head cuts, with, you can see the change in grade right here was relatively flat and then got steeper, relatively flat then got steeper. This is where the active head cutting is going on. We just armored that with a rock rundown so it'll quit uh, scouring out the sediment and washing it away. Well, there's something I didn't tell you, a little secret here. Okay, head cuts tend to progress up valley as a set. Okay, we just fixed the obvious one. It's, it was obvious to us something was going on here. But the set is this little area up here where the topsoil is the first thing to go because it's the finest and it's, it's a little drop and the A horizon washes away and then we're down to the B soil horizon and we get a deeper, more obvious cut at the B horizon and we say we got to fix that and we don't notice or ignore what's happening here in the A horizon. Okay, so head cuts are always going up valley as a set like that. So after you fix this, look around and see if you really need it to come up just a little further and catch that eroding A horizon. Okay, and I almost always put a one rock dam just below either a rock rundown or a Zuni bowl, which we haven't talked about yet. And that's so that after the water trickles through here, it pools on this downstream side above the one rock dam. Uh, we're not catching much sediment because a lot of the sediment would have been caught here, so it's not gonna catch as much as the structure we just built. But it is gonna pool water and have time to soak into the banks. So the grass will respond, okay?